And I'm, we're, we're, we're on the phone right now with Jim Nobles this weekend. Okay. Uh, the Nameless is playing second. Scotiana is playing first at 10 o'clock. And, like, we mean, like, actually 10 o'clock. Not the, okay. hey, everybody come at 10 o'clock, and then we start playing around 11. No, okay. 10 o'clock is when <laughs> Scotiana starts. The music will be going by 10. Uh, the only thing I could think of it going later than that is if we were just waiting till like, 10, 15 to get a crowd. But Scotiana has been working really hard, and uh, this is going to be their debut performance. Uh, it's uh, veteran members of... Jameson and the Bomb Bags, and yes, Mr. Denslow, and uh, Foul Stench of Youth. Uh, there's, it's, it's kind of like a little, uh, you know, as far as the scene, you know, our little scene goes, a little all-star group. And um, so I'm really looking forward to that set. And then uh, the Nameless set, um, it's going to be our first show with our uh, new guitar player. It'll be the debut of the, the Nameless lead guitarist. Okay. Or the Nameless guitar player. You well, know, uh, and uh, so we're you know, we're all really looking forward to the show. And then I love the Lynx. I think they're a lot of fun. Uh, they've got a lot of music in their catalog, so you never know what you're going to get when you have the show. Okay. And you know. Jim, tell me, the Nameless. How long is this? This is your first show. No, the Nameless started performing back in January. Okay. Okay. What kind of uh, what kind of music yeah. are we looking at? I'd say it's like uh, kind of. Uh, some poppy swanky garage rock i mean it's got elements of punk and it's got elements of you know your standard 90s alternative but uh i'm a big fan of eagles of death metal and uh queens of the stone age rolling stones you know the hives the strokes all the the bands you know chances are if they're a the insert word chances are they're a garage band or a punk band that i like and uh, so it's, 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 it's in that genre of, you know, that, 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 right. that, uh, three to four piece garage rock band and, you know, in a two, two car garage somewhere in the suburbs and, uh, you know, just, you know, hip swanking, dancey hits, you know, from, right. from, from, from this little catalog and, uh, and, you know, the songs are all based off of true stories about, you know, either something in my life or someone else's life, and uh, you know, all the names are either changed or completely deleted. You know, for you know, lots of stuff done for the uh, for the sake of rock and roll dramatization uh, in the lyrics there. And then uh, the show is just you know, Cowboy Mouth meets James Brown, like just uh, everybody get involved. Um, the nameless front man is a character that's you know taken on many names over the years and uh now he's just the nameless front man and he likes a crowd to stand right in front of the stage he likes people to clap in unison he likes people to scream because they're having a good time right he likes to make sure everybody knows the words he loves sing-alongs you know and then you've got a good combination with the nameless band right there behind him just pumping it keeping it on a simmer where it needs to be on a simmer and driving it home where it needs to be driven, you know? Jim. And it's a, it's a fun show. Oh, oh, just so everybody knows, this is not your first show. You've been playing music in Acadiana for how long? Um, probably since, you know, uh, maybe like 98, 99. Okay. I was in a band called uh, Atomic Deluxe with um, Christopher Slim from the Howdies. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and some some friends of him his from out at the the New Iberia Way, and uh, then a couple of years later after a hiatus, uh, he and I collaborated again with Jay Reed, and we were in a band called The Transmission, and we had a lot of fun in the 2005 to 2007 little era of the local Lafayette scene. Those were fun those were fun nights at Renaissance. Like Renaissance, Judd Kennedy was booking the right bands on on Tuesday nights and like hundreds of people like hundred to hundred and fifty people were coming out on a Tuesday night and staying until two o'clock in the morning, you know. It just doesn't right. happen these days. You know, and it was it was it was it was a good time. And uh after that I moved on, uh, you know, I, I, I tried some other projects, uh, and then I uh, was in a band called Not a Death Ray. I collaborated again with Jay Reed from the Transmission, and he was with us for a little bit. And uh, I grabbed Ronaldo from Foul Stench of Youth, 
and um, Trey Shallon, who was a DJ that had been on the scene forever, but he decided he wanted to play bass, and old-time school friend David Carter on guitar, and uh, we had a lot of fun on the scene for a while, too. The scene was doing good. Not so much the Tuesday Night Spectacular I was talking about earlier, but we were it was all right, and we had a lot of fun. And then it took a uh, break, started, you know, focusing on solo. I mean, there was no bands to play with, so I was just like, you know, I'm just going to make sure I go to the open mic night every Wednesday. Now, if there's more than one open mic night, well, then I'm going to go to the one on Tuesday. I'm going to go to the one on Thursday. You know, they got one on Monday. Okay, well, I'm going to go to an open mic, mic night every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday okay. that I can, you know, and I'm just going to, I'm going to make this town just like, oh, God, Jim Nobles is playing again. You know, and uh, that, that, that led to a good relationship with Mitch Briggs and with Brandon Smith from Project Kitchen Band. And, um, you know, through, through my travels with the transmission, I had met um, uh, Patrick from Holy Ghost People, and he had asked me to come play drums with him. I hadn't played drums in a while. You know, all those bands up until this point, I had been just playing drums, and me getting out there and doing solo was just just getting started me playing guitar and um patrick came along and he asked me he said he needed a drummer and he was looking to get put together a show he said i don't want to just just get up there and play music i want to put together a show and uh, you seem to be into that kind of stuff and i was like okay so we went and we did that for about two years it was fun that was where i met laura crater and um and she's my she's my right hand woman. She's been my bass player ever since. We we bonded in that band. She and I started the Nameless. Uh, the ba- the original bass player for Arn Maiden um, decided to go his separate ways, and she stepped up and took his place. You know, initially just to help me out so we could keep productivity with the with with gigs. And now she has a home. She's the only maiden in, in Arn Maiden. And, she and I see each other every Sunday and Monday. You know, we practice with uh, the Nameless on Sundays and Arn Maiden on Mondays. Cool. And uh, now here we are. Well, tell us about the links a little bit. Um, what kind of music? I mean, are, are you familiar with the, anyone in the band? Or um, I am a big fan of Luke Veon. Luke Veon is a young man who's just stepped into adulthood on the music scene. And uh, he has... He's played either guitar or bass with the Lynx off and on for the last year. He's he's been in Seoul. Uh, he did a couple of gigs with the other LA. And um, the Lynx seems to be the band that he likes to call home. And uh, they've got this nice little funk punk thing going on that I really like. It's you know sometimes it's a little Red Hot Chili Peppers, sometimes it's a little garagey, swanky you know Hives, Eagles of Death Metal type thing and. Uh, if you go look up their their stuff, I mean, they look like they've been playing music since the 80s. They've got so much music. Right. And so that's like what I was saying earlier. I mean, it's it's if you're really familiar with their catalog, it's got to be a lot of fun to go to their shows because you never probably never know what you're going to get because they've got so much music. Right. Whereas a lot of the other bands have only got like one or two CDs worth of music and they know what their hits are and you're pretty sure you're going to get all these songs every time you know right <laughs> so to be there at this point in their career you know that's great i mean bands like rolling stones and you know u2 and all those big bands that have been playing for years get to do that but these guys are still just playing bars you know it's got to be fun you they probably never get tired of their music because they get to switch it up so much and it's still the original stuff you know well and, and have you heard Scotty in a practice yet? I have not heard uh, them practice yet, but I have sat in the living room with Mitch and Mark when they were working on music, and I've gotten I've I, I, I uh, I've gotten pretty much the breakdown of how everything's going. But for the most part, uh, if Mitch and Mark haven't chosen to keep things secret, I've let them. Stay secret so that the okay. show will surprise me. Okay. Because you know? well, I'm looking forward to hearing this, too. I mean, I, I'm looking forward to hearing everyone, actually. Uh, the Steam Press, uh, the venue, they uh, they surprised me last Saturday, personally, man. Um, you know, the way they took the two Lake Charles bands and two Acadiana bands and kind of meshed them together. And it was just like, you know, baby steps from beginning to end. And they got loud and crazy. And, and to me, it's what we need here. 
to me it's exactly what we need here and, and and that's why i wrote what i wrote this week about it i mean i i i i thought it was awesome and i'm looking forward to this show saturday um do you know what time the first band starts at 10 o'clock 10 o'clock so it's definitely 10 to 2 okay scotty and well it's probably going to be more like 10 to um to 12 we're exper- we're experimenting with it. Ten to ten to like twelve thirty, maybe one o'clock at the latest. We're okay. experimenting with it. We're we're starting to notice that the scene is not one not in life yet. I mean it's completely different if you go to Texas or somewhere right. else. But I mean a lot of people here in Lafayette or at, at twelve o'clock they you know, they're they're, they're kinda of done. So, I mean, uh, we're, we're experimenting with it, and we did it with the Iron Maiden show uh, back on November 4th at Steam Press. I mean, that was the night of uh, uh, Downtown Alive, so there was a lot of people downtown already, but, um, well, I mean, we, so we, we started at 10 o'clock on the nose, and it was just two bands, so we were finished at 12, 12.30, and uh, everybody was happy with that, because then everybody had from 12.30 to 2 to hang out. And, right, right. You know, uh, meet and greet with so how- the band. How long are the sets? Probably, I mean, it sounds like... I'm thinking that Scotty Anna is going to be about uh, about 30 minutes, no more than 40 minutes. They said they've got okay. a really, really short set because uh, they're just getting started. Right. Uh, and then um, the Nameless, if we just play through it song after song, we can do about 45 minutes. But it depends on the crowd. It depends on how sassy, you, you know, the Nameless front man's feeling, you know. So right. we might... Uh, they, they might go a little longer than, uh, than than 45 minutes, maybe push it to a solid hour. And um, and then the links are going to hop up right after that. And uh, then okay. they're going to play as long as they want. So if the links feel like playing until 2 o'clock, they're welcome to it. You cool. Know, but if, if they want to play until, you know, 12.30, you know, 1 o'clock, you know, then, they, you know, they're welcome to that too. Because uh, nobody likes it. There, there's, there's, I, and I, it's... it's it's kind of important to me to like try out this playing earlier thing and try to support that because I've seen a lot. I've seen national touring bands play for five people because they didn't get on stage until one o'clock. Right. You know, and then I've gone to another state and found out that I was going to be playing at one o'clock and was just biting my nails all night and ended up playing for a packed audience. So it's um it's a gamble. So like anybody that's you know reading, hearing any of this, you know, best thing to do is try and support us and yeah, you know, get out there right. early. Treat it, treat it like you would for um you know a regular concert. You know, a regular yeah. concert, you'd go out to dinner and then you go to the show, and you're finished with that by like twelve. Yeah. We're trying to give you the same experience. You know. Do and you then after twelve, you can just focus on getting drunk and getting laid. You know. Yeah. Do y'all do y'all do y'all know if y'all have any merch? Anybody have any merch? You know. Uh, the, the the links have merch, and um, but the nameless and Scottyana uh, do not have merch right now. Uh, the nameless merch is, is being printed. It'll be coming soon. Uh, this was originally supposed to be a nameless um, CD release. We were gonna we were gonna put our album out at this show, but um, with all the work that uh, I ended up having to redirect to the Bluegrass Tribute to Iron Maiden, um, that just kind of slowed things down with putting that record out so we're looking forward to putting it out like in january or february hopefully okay hopefully the holidays don't slow us down so hopefully they don't is definitely coming well hopefully definitely some t-shirts and stickers and hopefully some albums hopefully um hopefully for sure there's a lot of people saturday night that are looking to to, to see something new something creative and something different and and to me it's Definitely one of the only reasons I'm going to downtown Lafayette personally. Uh, I mean, I had a, I had a blast there. Uh, they they actually have pretty good food there too. <laughs> I was pretty amazed at, at how good the burger was. Food there is delicious. Food there is delicious, and uh, you know the, the, the way the bar staff is, is is pretty good. They got good coffee. I mean, they're a coffee right. place. Right. You know. Uh, I'm happy it's there. Right. Let's put it like that. And actually, I think um, I think they might be going through some changes. Uh, I don't I, I don't know that uh, I'm at liberty to say, but a restaurant that used to be on the scene that everybody seemed to like might be collaborating with Steam Press. Uh, that's a rumor I heard. That's not anything official, but that's a rumor I heard. And I'm excited about it if it happens, because I mean the food's just going to get better than it already is. Cool. You know. Cool. Well, Jim. Thanks for 
talking to us, man. Thanks for reaching out. If you ever need anything, let us know. When Nameless comes out with their new CD, too, we'll be happy to play it on Radio Louisiana. At least, Absolutely. you know, listen to it a couple of tracks, maybe come and talk about the CD a little more. But, yeah, that, that sounds great. I'll bring, uh, I'll bring uh, the Nameless bassist and the Nameless yeah. drummer and the Nameless guitar player with me, and we'll all talk real loud and draw a crowd. Yeah, we'll, call, we'll call it putting a face to the Nameless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but, Jim... I'm going Saturday. I can't wait to be there. I can't wait to see it. So let me know if you need anything. Let me know if y'all ever need anything. So good to see you. Good to talk to you. Any cover Saturday night? Uh, the cover is going to be $5. Okay. We're just going to keep it old school cheap. Everybody come out and spend your money at the bar. Yeah. Awesome. You know, spend your money on merchandise, sport local music. Yeah, we'll keep it cheap. Make cool. it easy. And once again, thank you for talking to Live and Local and Radio Louisiana, Jim. We really appreciate it in your middle of the day. Um, once again, when the Blue Trash tribute comes back out, if you want to talk again, let us know. Absolutely, man. Thanks. Thank you very much. Word. We still live?